Welcome to a new episode. Today, we'll be exploring one of the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena in the universe, black holes. We'll be diving into the story of the first black hole ever formed, and uncovering the secrets of how these mysterious objects came to be. Along the way, we'll also discover the tools and methods used to observe and study black holes, including the oldest black hole we know of to date. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's begin our journey into the abyss of the universe. The story begins with a massive star that lived at the dawn of time. It was one of the first stars to form in the universe, and it shone bright and fierce. This star was massive, at least 10 times the mass of our sun, and it burned its nuclear fuel at a rapid rate. But as the eons passed, the star began to run out of fuel. The intense pressure and heat in its core caused it to collapse, and as it collapsed, it began to heat up even more. Eventually, the temperature and pressure became so great that the electrons were forced to combine with protons to form neutrons. This caused the outer layers of the star to be pushed outwards in a massive explosion, called a supernova. The inner core of the star, however, continued to collapse, growing denser and denser, until it formed a black hole. It is believed that the first black holes formed around 100 million years after the Big Bang, and that they likely formed from the collapse of massive Population 3 stars. Population 3 stars are the first generation of stars that formed in the early universe. They are composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, unlike later generations of stars that also contain heavier elements. These stars are massive, with masses at least 10 times that of our Sun, and burn their nuclear fuel at a rapid rate. They were instrumental in shaping the early universe as their intense radiation and supernova explosions helped to clear the fog of hydrogen and helium that filled the universe and allowed later generations of stars and galaxies to form. However, as the first star collapsed and formed a black hole, its gravity became incredibly strong. This gravity is so strong that it creates an invisible boundary around the black hole called the event horizon. Once something crosses the event horizon, it cannot escape. This is because the gravity of the black hole is so strong that it prevents anything, including light, from escaping. This is what makes black holes so mysterious, as once something crosses the event horizon, it is lost forever. Since black holes don't emit out any light, they can't be seen with telescopes, but their presence could be felt through its powerful gravitational pull. Before the advent of X-ray telescopes in the 1960s and 1970s, Astronomers and scientists had no method of making direct observations of black holes. Scientists were able to detect X-rays from gas that was falling towards a black hole at high speed thanks to these X-ray telescopes. Black holes have never before been seen in such a way. Since then, scientists have used various tools such as radio telescopes and even gravitational wave detectors to study and learn more about black holes. As the universe continued to expand and evolve, other stars met the same fate as the first black hole. They collapsed and formed black holes of their own. But the first black hole remained, growing larger as it absorbed matter and energy that crossed its event horizon. The oldest black hole we know of to date is called Ton 618, and it's estimated to be around 13 billion years old, nearly as old as the universe itself. This black hole was discovered using the Keck Observatory in Hawaii and the Lijian 2.4 meter telescope in China. The discovery of this black hole has given us a glimpse into the early universe and the formation of black holes. That's the story of the first black hole ever formed. It's a tale of collapse and rebirth, of the birth of one of the most mysterious and fascinating objects in the universe. The discovery and study of black holes continue to amaze and astound scientists and the general public alike, and we can't wait to see what new discoveries the future holds. If you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for more space adventures.